Hey guys, how's it going? I'm selling my 1955 Calibri. Um, this one has a fully American keyboard. So not only does it have the QWERTY layout, it has the one key and it has a dollar sign. Also has pound sign. Um, so I don't know, I've heard, I think I read somewhere that maybe these were from Australia or obviously that's not the dollar down there. Um, but uh, I don't know why I heard that somewhere. Anyways, but that also has the uh, at sign if you're looking to do any sort of um, social media stuff with handles or Instagram or whatever. Uh, it's got the sense sign. But overall, this is this is the best one that I've ever come across because it's fully intact. It's got both of the knobs. It's got the paper support. Um, I've got the bell set to activate uh, just so you can hear it like when I'm typing. I'm going to give you a type sample of all the letters. Everything is uh, aligned really well. I just had this serviced at uh, a shop in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Mesa typewriter exchange. I think that's the name of the shop. He uh, he does a really good job. This one didn't need too much work anyways. Uh, in fact, I don't think it needed anything. The V key was kind of felt like it was a little tougher, but I mean, it didn't have any alignment issues. And so I just had him service the whole thing. And uh, yeah, I, I've been really happy. That's not the this is not the first one I've had him do for me. <clears throat> So if you guys are in that area, uh, I would definitely look him up. But um, but yeah, it does have, of course, the standard, you know, the standard uh, Calibri little those dings right here, not dings, but um, these scratches right here, paint peeling, and then it's got the little thing right here, which um, I'm gonna take a picture of it don't think you can see it. I don't want to move the camera. I guess I can try to get it up here. I can't really see. I have this camera really high, but it's uh, it's basically next to the Groma sign, kind of hidden behind this top row of keys. I'm gonna try and get this in focus, but anyways, I'll take a picture of it. Uh, and you really can't really see it when you're sitting at it typing. Like I said, it's kind of hidden behind these, but I'm gonna give you guys a type sample. And um, show you how everything works on this. It does have the case. I wanted to show that. The case is pretty rough. That's the case. And uh, the case is pretty rough. It's got this some sort of residue on top. Um, but it does have both snaps on both sides and they're functional and obviously it does have the main one and inside uh, clean pretty clean inside but um, and it again it's it's functional it's got the handle um, better than most cases I think I know a lot of them are missing these side straps and then some of them they're like broken right here so again Cosmetically, not the greatest, but um, it does the job, keeps it really secure. You know, typewriter snaps in on this one. This guy seems like it's a little bent, so you gotta give it a good press down when you're when you're locking it in, but it does lock in. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys how this thing works. And again, when I'm done, I'll take that sheet of paper out and give you guys an up close look so you can see this does have a brand new ribbon uh, all black ribbon and uh, yeah I really like this one I do have another which is why I'm getting rid of this one and um, oh yeah if you can see right here I guess the other little um, the only thing that's not complete on this is it only has one of the little rubber grommet things over over these that hold the, the paper down. Obviously it doesn't affect it functionally, but um, yeah, that is missing. And you know, these 
I think if you don't have it, it's pretty, it's almost impossible to replace unless you find another machine for parts, but those just don't come up. Um, but yeah, I'll give you uh, uppercase, lowercase, letters, symbols, all that, and uh, you guys can see how this works. Caps. I'm gonna give you uh, like half of this sentence in caps and then I'll hold down shift manual and you can see they're even. And that kind of sticks a little when you're, uh, when you're pressing caps lock. If you saw, I pressed it and then when I released it, and it fell down, it goes, it went good right there, but every now and then when you hit caps lock, this was one of, the, now that I remember, this was one of the things I had him fix. Uh, I don't think it was sticking down. Works good now, but again, when you release it, yeah, it's working. So I'd say it works, you know, eight out of 10 times. But um, yeah, I wanna hold this so you can see that the caps lock and just the manual shift, everything is still good. And then I'm going to give you guys the numbers. And the symbols. And uh, yeah, this thing has a really clean imprint. I really like it. Obviously, um, backspace works fine. I just want to. You guys can hear that bell. Backspace works good. And um, yeah, let me take this out so you guys can see this. So this is the type sample. And you can see, yeah, let's see, kind of looks like maybe it's a little bit lower uh, over here, the caps lock and the shift, just a hair, but overall really good. And um, obviously the numbers, figures, this is, um, like I said, it was just serviced. And, uh, you know, these uh, these American keyboard ones, they're definitely a lot less common. Uh, you'll see on eBay and Etsy, a lot of the machines are the German keyboards where they have the Z, they have the Z where the Y key should be, and then the Y key is down here where the Z is. If you guys aren't familiar with these machines, um, and even a lot of them, they have the QWERTY keyboard, but um, all you know, like a lot of those, it's just these two keys have been swapped. They still don't have the dollar key um, or the pound for that matter. They don't have the at symbol, the cent sign, which you know you may or may not use. But um, but yeah, and then a lot of those again over here, they'll have like German keys or German letters. So these these fully American keyboards. They're a lot less common, and, uh, you know, especially in this condition. Again, it's got some blemishes over here, but um, Bell's functional. This whole piece on top is really nice. The lettering right here, fully intact, and just a uh, nice color. This, uh, this kind of greenish-gray color. Again, knobs, both knobs. And uh, so, yeah, this one's going up for sale if you guys have any questions shoot me a, a message or leave me a comment and uh, yeah have a good one